While there's currently a lot of focus on the Lava Loon troop, I'm sure many of you will remember that the Witch Golems were a very popular choice for some easy easy triples as well towards the ending of the Halloween season last year when it happened. So with the help of the Druids, despite of having taken the nerf, he has an army that you guys can take into your legends or your war, just try it out for yourself. I'll show you guys some attacks and how it works and what you have to think about while doing it. And I'm telling you guys, the new hero equipments benefit this army much more than it does for the Lava Loon attack. Let's just get into some examples and I hope I can convince you guys to try this out. I'll have the hero equipments up on the screen right away for you guys to see. And here's also what I have in my clan castle because it doesn't really show as a preview on that edit army screen. This is a very simple attack. I'm just going to show you guys right away. We're going to use some barchers to just set up a funnel and uh, you just need to find an edge to really enter into. So I'm going to try to enter along this edge. A very, very simple attack. Not much to it. We'll use the siege bags on the outside, the queen on the other side, and that should be fairly simple to begin with. Just go ahead, start with the witch golems and throw in literally everybody except your druids. Not your druids, everybody else except them. We'll also go ahead, throw in the jump early so that we can get that uh, access just ready for everybody to really, really push in. The very last thing we're going to do is add the druids so that we can protect the super archers. And that's it. Let's just go ahead, pop the warden ability because this is the highest damage that's pro probably there <laughs> waiting for us. And yeah, you can see the single infernos are kind of wrecking havoc on us. Just go ahead, maybe give access to your queen to push a little bit further. And you can see the super arches kind of go to work for you. Just go ahead, use your rages wherever you feel they're applicable. Pop your king when he's deep enough into the core to give you access to most of it. And yeah, you can just go ahead, use your royal champion on the flank where the siege pack was. It was very late for me. I should have done it much, much, much sooner. But yeah, we're going to still still have a lot of resources. Like you can look at this, guys. I have three freezes still left and a rage. So I'm just going to go ahead, save my king from like taking too much of damage and yeah let's just see i think my queen can honestly handle the right flank now there's not much really left you can already see those guys just provide enough tanking for you to push through most of the base anyway like what do you even need right so the queen with her magic mirror and her healer puppet off to the side of the base they've just gone ahead and handled all of it for us very 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 rough start because i forgot to put my royal champion you can see but you have enough tanking and enough force honestly like those witch golems provide endless skeletons and they produce the big boys even after going down what more do you need you just have to have your queen kind of like moving around the base safely and you have more than enough freezes to protect her in this army comp so yeah not much to really do just go ahead funnel into an edge just it's very very simple to do so it's not too complicated don't make the same mistake i did with my royal champion at the start just go ahead and throw her down as the funnel is being set with the help of the siege bag troops. Trust me, you guys will have a super easy time with it. But yeah, even after making those mistakes, we come out with two freezes to spare. Not convinced yet? I'll show you guys some more examples. Alright, next up we've got this very very isolated rage core. And we've got a poison spell on the back end with a monolith to just protect the town hall I guess. But yeah, we've got still some spread out damage as well. But I'm still going to show you guys. Even on such base styles where the damage is not all like kind of compressed into one space, you can still go ahead and smash with this army. So let's just go ahead and repeat exactly what we did. I'm thinking I'll have my queen go off to the side over here all by herself. That should be fine. We can have our siege bags up top. And I'll just funnel my smash will just come in the middle of these guys i think that should be fairly simple to do once again drop in everybody except for my <clears throat> drop in everybody except for the druids just yet at least for the time being so i'll try i'll try not to make the same mistake this time i can go ahead and drop my royal champion early and now i can have my druids kind of delayed just sprinkle in a little bit not much to it so maybe now's a good time to pop my warden ability Wait for the rage to kind of start subsiding. Let these guys just push into the base a little bit deeper. Let me put a skeleton spell off to the flank to protect my royal champion. And now let's just watch the chaos ensue. I'm telling you guys, it's really, really, really simple. So now we've just got our king going ahead, helping with the core. 
we've got some big boys we've got the witch golems as well and everybody should start joining up we've still got a rage we've still got four freezes as well plenty of support honestly plenty of support so we can just go ahead start freezing up now because what's going to stop us right like the base is almost done at this point so already off to a really really good start over here and it's just a matter of like finishing the base now we've got three we've got three entire freezes to finish the job and we've still got one witch golem running around no problems at all right so now we've got the siege barracks valkyries to come and help us out really really clutch really really clutch of these guys yeah super simple army and that should be another three star for us still got two freezes in the bag once again and it's pretty fast as well so i'm just trying to show you guys this is a proper spam army you don't have to worry too much about keeping your witch columns alive they are just there to provide sort of some tanking while also eventually producing the big boys which has some good dps and they're just there to help you out in the core guys it's a very 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 simple army yeah let's just move on to some more examples For the third base that we have today, it's just a very recent anti-meta base. And when I mean meta, I mean the fireball meta with some sort of smash, either the titans or the super witches. You guys know, you've seen many other content creators out there cover similar content. So, for the time being, at least what I'm thinking is, we can just have a siege break push go on over here, our queen over here, and our witches right down the middle. Should be fairly simple. What I'll do is, I'll just drop one Valkyrie to distract the enemy Warden from taking a shot against that wall brick initially. And then we can go ahead and start creating the funnel. I think I'll also drop the Siege Barracks up top super early, so then we can get that flank kind of moving. Similarly, I'll do the same for my Queen out over here. That should be fairly simple and not much more to it. Let's just go ahead, get started with the rest of the attack. I'll also make sure that I have access into the core very early. So that I don't have to really worry too much about my witch columns eventually walking right back out. Yeah, that's it. Everybody should start walking in. We've got the royal champion. We've got the queen covering both the flanks pretty well. And now's a good time to also join in with our druids. I'll pop my warden ability. We can have a rage spell covering most of the core like that. And we should be really, really good to go for just wreaking havoc on the entire core. Let's just have a look. Yeah, we've still got our witch columns kind of intact. I'm just going to go ahead, freeze the town hall as well as the monolith. And what's a good time to do this? Should I pop it now? I think I can just go ahead, open up that entire base. I'll save the rage spell for the royal champion and her hog puppet to just make their way around. And look at this guys, we've still got some witch columns alive, if not the big boys. What more do you even need? So even after the <laughs> witch columns die, whatever is alive, We've got the big boys that get spawned from them, so <laughs> really, really, really simple. And what's more important is that you just have so much of tanking in front of you. And then your king also opens up most of the base as well, that as a matter of fact, your super archers, at least a couple of them stay protected. And you don't have any problems of accessing the base over the wall. So yeah, just can't, <laughs> can't give this army credit enough. We've even got four spells left over. I'm not going to use them. We've got a minute to wrap around the base and just look at this guys. Look at this. How many big boys we've got. It's too crazy. It's too crazy. There's just so much of tanking that <laughs> you never have to worry about, right? So once again, just show you, just goes to show you guys like this army can be insane. Don't use the lava alone. Use this army before it becomes meta. I'm just guys, I'm just giving you guys a heads up. People are going to start using the Lava Loon as they get into the groove of using it. And you're already ready with the next army before people start building bases against it. So, one last attack? Why not? Let's do one more attack. Another anti-meta base. And this one is similar to the compact diamond I, I was going up against. But now you can see the damage is well spread along these flanks over here. And it's just a lot of walls to really dig through. Let's just try our best. Once again, a triple single Inferno core, just waiting for us so menacingly, but I think we should be able to handle it all the same. Let's just go ahead and start with the same principle of trying to set an initial funnel. Not much to it. So just set that initial direction, let these guys do what they can, and from there we can just keep moving. What's really cool about these super, uh, these witch golems is that they 
just end up <laughs> kind of spawning this entire skeleton wave in front of you, right? So the single infernos are kind of not a threat. I just I just like that about them, I guess. And let me not forget the royal champion on the flank as well this time. I don't think I should forget it. Yeah, okay, looks like we're good. I'll, I'm just thinking, when do I pop the king ability? Mm, king ability? Warden ability? I have, a, I, have, I have a lot of time, honestly. Yeah, I think we can just hold on for a bit longer. Looks like my king is not really being targeted right now. That's the only reason I'm saying this. Even my queen is fine on the flank. And if I can catch a ward, if I can catch a royal champion as well in the warden's ability, that will be huge. But I think now is a good time as any. I'm just gonna go ahead, pop my royal champion's ability. As everybody kind of just circles around the base. We've got the super archer as well protected as well. You can see them. The reason they don't get the reason they don't get targeted and the reason you don't need too many healers is because each witch golem after they die they spawn three big boys and we've got three of them in this army. So that's a total of nine big boys you can spawn. And even if your witch golem spawns some extra um, normal skeletons <laughs> during this, it's like your super archers just are likely to never ever get targeted. And that just shows you guys, like on this one, six spells. Six spells not needed. That's so ridiculous. I probably could have saved on more, but I don't even need to like describe this attack too much. It's it's so simple. The barchers are just there to funnel. <laughs> what more do you need? You have all the access you need with the earthquake boots. Trust me, you don't even need a high level earthquake boots. And I don't even have the spiky ball leveled up on this. I would have honestly preferred using the spiky ball, but I don't have it leveled up on this account. So I'm just making do with the gauntlet and it works just fine. You can see right here, four attacks, four triples, lots of swag, no problems at all. You guys got this. Let me know in the comments if you do try it out and yeah, just let me know how it works for you as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.